everyone, this is Shamara and I'll be doing a little devotion for you. So there's this passage in 1 Kings chapter 17, which talks about a drought season. So when there was a drought, God told Elijah to go to this specific brook and he told him, eat what the ravens bring you, for I have commanded them to bring you food. So God had commanded these birds to bring food to Elijah because they were in a drought season where there was hardly any food. Sure enough, the ravens brought him food, brought him bread and meat each morning and evening. Whoa, how cool is that? Can you imagine like every morning and evening these birds coming in and giving you meat and bread? That must have been really cool. This reminds us that God is the God of the universe. He can control anything, like he created the world. So if he wants to, he can use ravens, of course he can. God used these animals to provide for our needs supernaturally when later on in this same chapter Elijah goes to the house of a woman who only has enough flour and oil left to make one last meal for her and her son and then after that they would they would have to starve because they had nothing else left now when Elijah arrived he told her to make him a meal first and he said the God of Israel says there will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain. Now it would have been a huge decision for this woman to make because she has to choose between feeding this stranger who she's never met before or feeding herself and her son. And she chose to, to step out in faith and in obedience to trust in what God said even though that meant risking her survival and the survival of her son because they were using up the last bit of food that they had. But sure enough, God's promises did not fail. Because she trusted in God's word, she had a constant supply of flour and oil. Lastly, this chapter shows us that God always keeps his promises. Twice in this chapter, God promised to provide, and both times he held true to his word, first with Elijah and then with the woman. You see, God never fails us, and every single promise he makes to us, he will keep. And then, um, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for these um, amazing students that you have, and I pray, Lord, that you would touch them with this word. I pray that you would fill their hearts with the Holy Spirit and let them know, Lord, that you love them so much, you have a plan for their lives, and you have already prepared all their needs for them in advance, because you will provide for us supernaturally, Lord. Thank you, God, for your amazing power, and that you continue to amaze us with, with the miracles that you do for us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you got something out of it. See ya!